do you fear failure? All right, Shalom. I want to start off this video by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahusha, Bahashim Rokakudash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and grace and peace to you, elect around the four winds, believing and pushing this truth in all sincerity. May the blessing of election be upon your houses. This is your fellow servant, Rokayer from the GMS Orlando camp. And uh, coming at you tonight with another edition of Asking the Hard Questions. All right, tonight's question through the spirit is, do you fear failure? All right, tonight's question is inspired. I mean, tonight's lesson is inspired by a quote that was sent to me earlier today, which I'll read a little something like this. It goes, if you fear failure, you're already considering it an option. All right, and through the spirit, I want to exhort you, Akim and Akwaf out there, not to fear failure. All right, because failure is a part of this truth of ours. All right, and through failure comes opportunity. All right, opportunity to what? Opportunity to pinpoint our different weaknesses. All right, and pinpoint our different strengths. All right, and as we pinpoint our weaknesses and our strengths through different failures, we're able to perfect our weaknesses and perfect our strengths through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem All right, so don't be afraid of failure. Failure is a part of the truth. All right, and understand that. Every trial that you go through, you're not going to knock it out the park the first time every go around. All right. Some things are going to take another try. All right. Some things are going to take two, three, four tries. All right. But you got to be willing to get back up and try again. All right. Don't wallow in your failures. All right. A righteous man, a righteous woman doesn't wallow in his failures. He builds upon his failures. He learns from his failures. All right. And that's what the Lord is teaching us to do. All right. Through the spirit and power, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, learn from our failures. All right. Gain experience. All right, through different application of the scriptures. All right, that's what the Lord wants. He wants us to apply these things. All right, he wants us to trust him enough to apply this wisdom to our lives. All right, and, and, and put forth that effort. And yeah, we may fail, but he gave us the spirit to get back up and try again. All right, and learn from that failure. All right, learn from that mistake. All right, learn how you can do better. All right, and you're not only learning for yourself, you're learning for the acumen around you. All right, because another Aki may be going through that same experience and you may be able to give him some wisdom on how to deal with it. You know, everything we go through is not only for ourselves. You know, a lot of the times it's, it's for us and the Aki around us, because at the end of the day, we're a body. Right. You know, we're a body. And like the scriptures say, iron sharpen if iron. And in order to sharpen another, another man, you got to be sharp yourself. All right. And so. You know, don't be afraid of failure. All right. Don't be afraid to, 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 to miss the mark. All right. Don't be afraid of that because it's going to happen. All right. Just have the spirit to get up and try again. All right. Don't have that spirit. of Oh, no, I shouldn't try again. Oh, it's no point to it. No, don't be in that spirit. All right. Because that's the spirit of failure, man. <laughs> that's the spirit of defeat. And the Lord didn't give us the spirit of defeat. All right. He gave us the spirit of victory. All right, it was only begotten son Yahweh shot. But um, let me let these cars pass by and I'll grab a couple of scriptures and then we'll close it out. All right, but one of y'all can hear me. But uh, let's grab this in Proverbs 24 and verse 16. It says, For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. All right, so it says, For a just man falleth seven times and seven is uh, just representative of completion. All right. It says for a just man follows seven times and rises back uh, and rise up, up again. All right. And that's the point and rise it up again. All right. We're going to fall. All right. It's, it's, it's going to come. All right. Different mishaps, different failures are going to come. All right. But the point is for us to get up again. All right. Don't let that obstacle overcome you. All right. Don't let that defeat you. All right. The Lord didn't give us the spirit of defeat, man. All right, he gave us the spirit of victory. That's why we receive this truth. That's why we receive faith, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, so that we may overcome this flesh, overcome the world, man. You know, just like our Lord Yahweh did, man, the, the author and the finisher of our faith, man. All right, Yahweh said, What? Be of good cheer. I have overcame the world, man. And that's a heavy statement to me, man, because the Lord came not in his glory. All right, he didn't come as the captain of the host. He didn't come in, in, in his angelic form. He came as a man. And he went through the same mental afflictions. He went through the same physical afflictions, the same ailments. And he overcame the flesh. He overcame this world, man. And he let us know that we can do it too. Just as long as we arm ourselves with the same like mind. 
with the same spirit. You know? So again, it says, For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. All right? So a just man it falls. All right? We read it throughout the scriptures. All right? Uh, each one of our, our righteous forefathers, they had a fall at one point, but they got back up again, man. They got back up again. And that's why these scriptures are written for us at the end of the day. Let's get that for our comfort and for our learning. This is Romans 15 and 4. And whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And what do we learn throughout the different accounts in the scriptures? All right, that different righteous men, they failed. They had their weak moments. You know, they had their moments in which they fell short. All right, but at the end of the day, they have faith enough. All right, they had spirit enough to get back up and to try again. All right, they have faith enough to get back up and to not let that over, uh, to not let, not let that failure defeat them, just like it, you know. But to, but to try again, you know, to try again, to try again. All right, to please you, how about Shemiah with Shah, you know. But um, I wanted to get another part of this quote. It said, if you fear failure, you're already considering an option. All right, and when we go through these different trials, you can't go into it with a with a with a defeated mindset. All right, face every obstacle, face every trial, face every day with an expectation of victory, man. All right, with an expectation of, of, of righteousness, man. That's how you should face every day. Every time you, every day you wake up, the Lord give you the spirit. All right, to bless you to have the spirit again, to bless you to have His name, the faith, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding is another day you should arm yourself with the expectation of victory. All right, every trial you go into. Uh, don't go into it with oh no go into it like okay yeah all right all right lord i see you all right you you, you testing me all right i see you trying to uh get me to level up you know this is my next trial you know let me go ahead and tackle this you know arm yourself with the expectation of victory man every trial every tribulation every obstacle every day arm yourself with the expectation of victory all right don't go don't go into anything with with the mindset of failure man you know, and that's that's something that I heard at a, a young age when I was playing uh, sports. <laughs> you know, I used to play basketball. You know, uh, the coach used to tell me all the time. We used to tell the team all the time. You know, don't go into it. Even though the other team, you know, they 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 dunking in the layup line. You know, they doing all these flashy dunks. Don't worry about that. All right, don't worry about how it looks. You know, going to this game expecting to win. You know, ex expecting to make good plays, all right? Expecting to have good teamwork, all right? And coming into these, and, and coming into the hour of temptation, the dead, uh, and the dead Jacob's trouble, all right? Coming to it with an expectation of mercy, coming to it with an expectation of salvation, an expectation of spiritual power, all right? Expectation of the Lord coming through for you, ex expectation of victory, man, all right? That's what the Lord gave us, man, all right? Through the, uh, the bestowing of us of this truth. But um, I'm going to grab one more precept and then I'll close it out. All right. This is. uh. Actually, let me get two. Let me see. And let me get this in. Um, in the book of Sirach. Or Ecclesiasticus. Salakia, uh, the pages loading up slow. Internet is acting a little bit slow, but um, this is Second Edris, chapter fourteen, and verse thirteen. Now therefore, set thine house in order, and reprove thy people, and comfort such as them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. Let go from thee mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and hasty to flee from these times. All right, set aside those heavy thoughts, man. Set aside those thoughts of failure. All right, those thoughts of doubt. All right, because those are unfruitful thoughts. All right, they're unprofitable th thoughts. All right, as long as you're thinking about failure, as long as you're considering failure, as long as you're considering uh, uh, defeat, it's unprofitable unto you. All right. But the moment you start to consider victory, you start to consider salvation, you start to consider mercy, the more it starts to manifest in your life. 
All right. And that's what the Lord is teaching us to do through every trial and through every obstacle. All right. On a day to day basis, man. All right. To have that healthy expectation. All right. To not fear failure. All right. To, to have faith enough to put forth our foot. All right. To put forth that foot and to try it out. All right. To test to test our limits, you know, to test uh, our power, man. All right. He said he'll come through for us and he wants us to test that, man. You know. But um, let's get this and then we'll close it out. This is Sirach or Ecclesiastes 34. And I'm going to start at verse 9. It says, A man that have traveled knoweth many things, and he that have much experience will declare wisdom. And how does the experience come? It comes through trial and error. All right? Different men, you know, you don't see different wise men. The, look at the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, for example. All right, they don't have this wisdom just by sitting back and, and reading scriptures. They have ex this experience by actually going out and applying the wisdom to their life. All right, actually going through things, man. All right, actually going out in the highways and byways, actually applying the scriptures to their life. That's how they gain the experience they have, the wisdom that they have, man. All right, experience doesn't come through stagnation. All right, it comes through uh, moving, man. You got to apply things, man. You got to be willing to, to, to fail. You got to be willing to, to try something, you know, and to possibly fail. But you don't go into it thinking you are going to fail, man. If you get the point, man. But it says, <clears throat> he that have no experience know of little, but he that have traveled is full of prudence. When I traveled, I saw many things and I understood more than I can express. I was oft times in danger of death, yet I was delivered because of these things, man. All right. And oftentimes we're going to find ourselves to the point where we, we you know, you're going to think, damn, how am I going to get out of this? One? You know, but the Lord is going to deliver us. All right. For putting our foot forward. All right. For having that faith to try. All right. For having that faith to, to, to travel, so to speak. All right. To gain the different experiences, man. All right. To test our faith. All right. To put that put that faith to the test, man. All right. But with that being said, you know, don't be afraid of failure. All right, failure is going to come. All right, but don't go into any obstacle that you, you you know you may face with the mindset of failure. Go into it with the mindset of expectation of victory, man. All right, that's how we're going to grow. You know, that's how we grow. But with that being said, shallow one, stay up.